We all know what brake calipers in cars are made for, but when you try to rig them on 3D model and animate them, you are absolutely certain that they were created only for one purpose, to make you suffer. These flimsy, spinny things never behave as you expect them to, but this will happen no more. Welcome back to my channel, and in today's video we are going to fix brake calipers in car rig once and for all. You guys wrote multiple comments on my previous video asking how to make calipers work, so I decided to explain how to rig and implement them into the control rig in Unreal Engine. Make sure to watch this video till the end in order to everything work properly. We will start with importing model to Blender and adding additional bones to calipers. I will be using the same Ford Mustang model I used in previous videos, which is already rigged. You can download this model by link in description. First thing you need to do after opening Blender is to set up unit scale. As Blender uses meters and Unreal uses centimeters, we need to set scale multiplied to 0.01 and increase view distance so we can see the car after import. Now click File, Import, FBX and choose Mustang model you downloaded or your model that you have already rigged. Important notice, I use the UE vehicle add-on to rig this car and to make things simpler you can use the same add-on to follow my workflow, but it works also for any other type of rig cars. Unfortunately, calipers in my model are placed under body structure, so I need to get them out and parent to armature. Expand armature and select all rotors, calipers or brakes depending on the naming if you are using different model. In my case, they called rotors for some reason. Hold and shift, drag all of them to the armature. As parenting was changed, calipers may change its position, but we can quickly fix it. First, select caliper and while holding shift, select the related wheel. After that, press shift S and choose selection to active. Do this for all of the wheels and check that the calipers are placed properly. Caliper should have the same origin as the wheel. Check it by selecting and rotating around the brake rotor. If origin is not correct, you can use wheel as the origin. Select your wheel, now press Shift S and choose cursor to select it. It will put cursor in the center of the wheel. Now choose your caliper, right click and set origin. Set origin to 3D cursor. Now your caliper has the same origin as you will. Check other calipers if they are placed properly, if not, adjust them so they look good. Great, we are done with placement and structure, now let's modify bones. Select your armature and click tab to get into the edit mode. Then select wheel bone, I will start from the left one, click shift plus D to duplicate the bone. You will see that bone is duplicated if you move mouse a bit. Right click to snap duplicated bone on the same place as the original wheel bone. Let's name this caliper bone CFL, which will stand for caliper front wheel. Now go there and expand relations tab. Set parent bone to FL, so it will be under front left wheel structure. I do that for the reason of more clean controls in the control rig in Unreal Engine when I import the model, so I will need only to steer the wheel bone and the caliper will follow automatically. Do this for all other wheels, duplicate bones and assign parent bone of the corresponding wheel. After that, we need to assign all calipers to armature. Switch back to object mode by pressing tab on keyboard. Select caliper and add modifier called armature and select active armature. Do this for all of the calipers. When we are done with this, we will apply vertex groups to our calipers. Vertex groups basically are telling which geometry should bone affect. Select caliper and switch to edit mode again by pressing tab on your keyboard. Select object data properties tab. Click on plus icon to add a vertex group. 
Now it's very important, so pay attention. Name vertex group the same as your corresponding bone. For front left caliper, I named bone CFL, so I name my vertex group CFL. Make sure all of the geometry for your calipers is still selected and click assign. Switch back to object mode, select next caliper and repeat the process. Create new vertex group, name it and assign. That's it, we are done with the rigging. It may seem complex, but it's quite simple, as you see. Now, let's prepare our model and export that for Unreal Engine. Make sure your car is facing X front axis and Z axis up. Hit A button on your keyboard to select all components. Click File, Export, FBX. In Object Types, select Armature, Mesh and Other. Tick checkbox selected objects. Set forward axis to X and Z up. Expand Geometry tab and select Smoothen Faces. Disable Add Leaf Bones for Armature. Give your file a name. Also uncheck Bake Animation and hit Export. Let's switch to Unreal Engine and import our model. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And also, slap that like button if you are enjoying my videos. That really motivates me to create new tutorials and breakdowns. And now, back to the tutorial. First, create new folder for this model, if you had any car skeletal meshes before. And import new model there. It's very important as Unreal can bug and use currently present skeleton for your new model without importing the new skeleton. And in that case, our new model will not work as it won't have bones we've just created. After input, I'm checking skeleton that it works as intended. All good, now I create control rig by right clicking on skeletal mesh. I will copy all of the controls from my control rig I created from previous video. You can watch it by clicking here in the top right corner or following by the link in the description. There I've explained in details how to create control rig for car and now I will just migrate all of it to my new model. Just copy paste is enough. Connect forward solve and all shall be working. Let's add shader to our calipers so we can see them better. I use free automotive material pack for this purpose. Now let's check the steering. Works perfect, but with wheel rotation there is one trick. If I go to wheel rotation controller and accelerate a bit, we will see that caliper is spinning together with the wheel. Oh no! Anyway! As I said, there is one simple trick. Navigate to wheel rotation graph and uncheck propagate to children from all four wheels. Now it's all set and you are ready for animations. Finally, your brake calipers are tamed and working as intended. This is it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.